So Notion just introduced two brand new features, sub-items and dependencies. So I pinned this dynamic Notion Gantt chart on top of these two new features. And it's simply crazy good. The Gantt chart will help you manage your projects with start and end dates, milestones, dependencies between tasks, assignees, and much, much more. So this Gantt chart calculates business days, holidays, and weekends dynamically so that you are always on top of your project. This is to ensure that you schedule your work for working days and steer clear of holidays and weekends. However, you also know that you can stretch on a specific holiday or on a weekend to make up for something if that's critical. So let me show you how it works with an example. Let's say you have five steps or milestones for your project and each step has a few tasks as sub-items. You can add a milestone by clicking on the plus new button. You can also create a new sub-item by clicking on this plus new sub-item button. This uses the new sub-items feature, as you can tell. Let's create a new milestone, step six, and add two tasks to show you how you can use the dependencies feature inside of Notion. For that, let's go into the Gantt tab. When you insert step six and the two tasks, you will notice that the date field is blank. Click exactly where you want the two tasks to appear. and link them up with the side arrow with each other and with the last item of step five say. The milestone for step six will be a combination of two tasks and let's say the weekend prior to the two tasks. Let's add in a holiday midweek to make the entire thing a little more interesting. You will notice that the legend has appeared in both the step and the tasks. B being for business days, WE for weekend, and H for holidays. As you dynamically drag one or more of these dates, the business days, weekends, or holidays are automatically recalculated. You can add the assignee in the table, and it inserts the image of the assignee into the Gantt chart. As you complete each of the tasks, the progress bar is reflected in the milestone. So if you move a task, say from step five to step six, it just moves seamlessly along with all its relations. If you move the bar inside the Gantt, you can readjust the dates like this. So this is a template that you can pick up and the link for that is below. To watch more of these fantastic use cases, subscribe to my channel. I have some really fantastic videos coming up.